This is Joseph Drust, and welcome back to another episode of Ask ZBrush. So we had a question sent in on what does the Unify button do inside of ZBrush? So here I have ZBrush loaded up, and I just have the demo head here. And as you can see, the demo head's about this size, and he's off-centered from the world. So the question involves the Unify option, which is located underneath the deformation panel over here. And there's just this button that's called Unify. Now, when you click Unify, it's going to take the selected subtool that you have, and it's going to rescale it to the ZBrush world, and then also recenter it in the scene. So if I come over here to the Geometry tab and just open this up, and then locate the position and the size areas here, you're going to notice that the demo head is registering with a size of 8 in X, Y, and Z. So that's basically giving you a eight ZBrush unit box around this entire model. And you can see in X it's eight, in Y we have six, and in Z we have 4.5. And then you also notice that the position of the model is offset from the ZBrush center of the world. So we're in four in the X position, negative three in the Y, and a little bit offset in the actual Z position. So if you come here to the Unify button and I click this now, it's going to recenter this model, and then it's also going to rescale the model to default values inside of ZBrush. So just coming over here and clicking on Unify, you'll notice that the position of the model has been changed to 0, 0, 0. So it's taken that center of the model, and it has positioned it right into the center of the ZBrush world. Now you'll also notice that the XYZ size has now been changed to 2. So ZBrush, the default scale for anything inside a ZBrush that works best with the different draw sizes and intensity is a XYZ size of two. So it's taken this model and scaled it to fit in that two unit box on the actual world here. So this two unit box is used for pretty much any of the default primitives. So I come over here and select the PolyMesh 3D star. You'll see that the XYZ size for this is at two. I say select the cube 3D object, you'll see it's also at two. And so any of these primitives have already been preset to use this default size inside of ZBrush. So that unify option is just basically going to take your model and it's going to rescale it to fit into the appropriate ZBrush default scale. So I hope that helps. And if you have any additional questions on any processes inside of ZBrush, please use the hashtag AskZBrush on Twitter. Happy ZBrushing!